It happens almost every five minutes on the Inuyama line from Nagoya. The gates close and the signals start at a train crossing. The Meitetsu train departs Hotei Station for Konan, gliding across Aichi Prefecture. And passing the colossal Buddha of Hotei and his sunglasses. So here we are in Aichi Prefecture, not too far away from Nagoya. This is Konan. It's very famous for its Buddhist culture. You'll see little Buddhas and temples all around the town. And if you're a fan of the traditional and the modern, this is an amazing spot. Now I love trains, kind of a train otaku. You'll have the Inuyama line going by here every five minutes. And when it does, it takes the cultural to another level. In the distance is an 18 meter daibutsu. It is really big. You can see it from about a kilometer away. And when that train goes by, it puts on a show. Konan is in Aichi Prefecture. The capital is Nagoya, Japan's third largest city, and the area's main Shinkansen stop for Japan Rail's Nozomi Express. Jump on the Meitetsu Inuyama line for 30 minutes and you'll reach Hotei Station. And just a few minutes walk from here is a rail crossing that is pretty unique. If you stay on the train and pass the station, you'll see it on the left side. It's in view for only two seconds. The Colossal Buddha of Hotei. Standing in front of it, all humans are small. This sitting Buddha statue is 18 meters high, made of cement, looks to the southeast and has a grandfatherly stare. It's privately owned and two meters higher than Todaiji, the great Buddha of Nara. Many come here when they're sick for healing or to find a path in their lives. Me, I came here for another reason. If you position yourself just right at the train crossing, you'll see the hippest Buddha in Japan shine down. I was told that this was discovered by chance about 10 years ago and reported in a regional newspaper, then picked up again a few years ago. They call it Buddha sunglasses. You can see that the light is starting to go down, the sun is setting, and I'm really curious to see what does the Buddha glasses look like at night? I mean, is it some kind of party? Is there some sort of techno vibe going on? just 150 meters away from the train crossing. It's privately owned by Dr. David Maida, and I went inside the back where he has a clinic. He helped his father build it as a kid, and I wanted to know more about the Daibutsu's history and why it was built at all. I don't know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just as he said, uh, we're going to start the big, big uh, in a statue. Uh, it's, uh, help. It must help everybody, the whole family. I carry the sand and the stone and then the concrete, uh, you know, by, by the shoulder. Did you think it was it was crazy to build something like this? I I, I don't think uh, crazy at that time, but it is now so he was crazy, <laughs> very. <laughs> you can see his father Maida Hidenobu in 1954 in front of the completed daibutsu with nothing around except for fields. 
When the silk industry ended with the invention of nylon, locals turned to farming, and then it was swallowed up as a suburb of Nagoya and its new industries. Maida-san had saved a lot of money from his acupuncture business and used that to build it himself. Perhaps a symbol of post-war Japan that anything is possible. The view from the Daibutsu's inauguration in 1954 shows a completely different area when compared to today. Growth from Japan's economic miracle years from the 1960s to 80s is obvious to see. I asked Dr. Maida to share more stories from back in the day and the challenge of owning a big Buddha in today's world. People come and they, 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 people pray, pray for the, you know, uh, uh, pray for the health to the uh, family and then uh, everything, good luck. He planned it, uh, he, he drew the picture, but uh, uh, he was not a uh, professional. Ah, they, uh -huh. the guy. No, no architecture. Everybody says, you know, my father is great and then uh, he did a uh, good job. So I proud it, but uh, now uh, family getting old, who gonna maintain this for the future? It's, uh, this is a uh, uh, main concern. The Daibutsu is showing its age after being renovated once at great cost decades ago. It's hard to see how it'll be maintained in the future as most of Maida-san's family now lives in the United States. But it is an interesting attraction for Konan City and Aichi Prefecture, just a few stops from Inuyama, a 16th century Japanese castle town. One note, viewing the Buddha sunglasses means standing in front of a cemetery, which is okay for visiting, but pay your respects to the residents' ancestors here and they'll allow a friendly visit. At night, I came back for a visit, respectfully offering a prayer of forgiveness and thanks to the ancestors in the cemetery, then illuminated the Hote Daibutsu myself for just a minute. It's quite a sight. And it's over. Until the next train a few minutes later, when Japan's coolest Buddha puts on those awesome sunglasses. Now my sunglasses might not be as cool as the Daibutsu Buddhas over there, but this is an incredible spot. You got Nagoya not too far away, Inuyama, a castle town with a lot of delicious foods, Gifu Prefecture with Seki City and Mino is not too far away. If you do come into this area, do keep in mind that you are right in front of a cemetery. Be very respectful, keep the noise down, take lots of pictures and share your experience. If you do come to Nagoya, definitely hit the Buddha sunglasses spot. It's on Google Maps. Thank you to Dr. Maida for his time and sharing his family history with us. And don't forget to subscribe to this new channel, Only in Japan, created and produced by me, John Dahl. If you like extraordinary adventures and stories from a faraway land that will inspire you, put Only in Japan, this new channel, in your subscription list. 20 times a month, Only in Japan goes live streaming from here. You can support the channel on Patreon and the Postcard Club from Japan. And we've got you covered Instagram, Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Mata ne.